If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get new video notification. Hi, this is Alex Melody from Hourly Sourcing. I am back with a new video uh, and just like I promised in the last video that I will be showing you how to do an x-ray search using Google and LinkedIn. That means that whenever you're making a search for a candidate, uh, you're not actually using LinkedIn but you're using a third party um, website to use um, to search for candidate via LinkedIn. I will show you how. First, I would like to show you. Uh, I would like to uh, show you the the name of the website. Okay, it's um, www. Recruit in. Net. For those people who cannot see it, I am going to um, ha make the font a little bigger so that you can actually go ahead and see it uh, in much better way. So uh, this is the website that I'm talking about. It's www.recruitin.net. Okay, and this is um, how the actual website looks. Now it's not only LinkedIn that you're gonna make search. You can make search in Dribble, Google Plus, GitHub, Zinc, Stack Overflow, and Twitter. But today we're just gonna talk about LinkedIn and how you can do um, a search using um, uh, RecruitIn. And a combination of Google and LinkedIn. Okay, so here um, today, what I've decided is I, um, I usually develop list for companies, and sometimes I develop and do I do develop a list for myself so that I can market my services uh, to my prospects. Okay, so uh, this time, let's uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for decision makers of of recruiting firms. Okay, so and if I have to look, uh, if I have to. Um, look for people using recruiting.net and LinkedIn and Google. This is how I'm gonna gonna do. Okay. First, you need to go onto the site. You don't need to actually log in or anything. Just go to the website recruit.in.net. Okay. And I'm gonna t uh, tap the titles of the major, um, you know, decision makers of a company. It could be owner, or it's giving me a, 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 a auto-populated option. So we have the owner or the CEO or the founder or the co-owner. Okay. So what I will do is I will just make this in uppercase. Uh, I think it, this this website does it automatically. But just to be on the safer side, uh, I will do that, make the changes. I remember in the last video, uh, I had mentioned that the operators, that is the and or not, all those have to be... Uh, in the uppercase so we have the owner or the CEO or the president or the founder or the co-owner I will add one more I will add or partner okay now, now the next is um, the keywords that I would like to include okay now though I have put the titles I have not selected the industry uh, I have I would like to go into the staffing um, and recruiting industry and that's one of the uh, listed industries in LinkedIn and here I have a list of all um, uh, the LinkedIn uh, industries that's it's that's in LinkedIn so we'd like to have a link of this uh, send me an email my email is if you see if it's just it's just above this video you can email it to me or put it in the comments box and I will send uh, uh, that link to you okay so, so we're looking for staffing and recruiting, and I'm going to select this that. I'll right click and copy and go back here and put that in the location of keywords. Okay, I'm not going to put the location, I'm going to put the location later. Uh, and by default, it has selected United States because I usually do this, so it's selected by default, right? So, I have the owner, I have um, uh, the keywords. I mean, basically, it's going to look for the industry, okay. Uh, I don't need to put the current employee because uh, what I'm looking is for the decision makers of, of recruiting firms across United States. I will also show you how you can go ahead and look for people in specific region. I will get to that later on. Okay. So once you have done this, uh, hit on uh, this green button which says find the right people on LinkedIn. Click on it. It will open up a box okay, which will uh, show you the query and then you go ahead and click on the option open in Google right that's what I'm going to do now okay 
so if you see this I have I have people who uh, are in the staffing and recruiting uh, industry okay so I've got about um, you know five million results almost but then it's not possible for me to actually Google does not show you that many results you know it, it just show you about 500 or 1000 I guess I'm not sure about that however so if you would like to make a search narrower okay what we will do is we will go ahead and um, choose a location we'll choose a specific location but before doing that let's just check if we are getting the right kind of people you know so I will just open a random um, profile here okay like I said I was looking for decision makers of recruiting firms and owners so we have Brian Manley here who is the president and CEO of Imagine Stuff and Technology uh, which is um, in New York uh, Buffalo New York all right so here's one prospect and then whenever I'm building a list I, I first you know take the, take the information that's available on the LinkedIn on LinkedIn and then you know I find the email address it's not actually scrapping it just actually trying to you know create leads and prospects to develop my business and to provide services who need my services you know like candidate sourcing uh, business development list creation and many other you can go to my website which is listed above this video www.rlysourcing.com to see all the services I offer okay so this is one way this is how you actually go ahead and use uh, uh, a, a search a procedure to find candidates see what you've noticed we have we have not gone into LinkedIn directly this is best for people who have free LinkedIn accounts and do not want to use um, the premium accounts who do not have the funds who do not want to pay this is very good for them you know you can put any in any title um, uh, any location you can choose that there are multiple countries that you can choose from the keywords that you can choose from okay so now what I'm going to do is this is a keyword that has been automatic automatic created by recruit in so what we need to do here is I would need to um, you know add the location so uh, just give me one moment I'm just gonna make the um, the font a little smaller then I will increase that for you later on so um, this is the keyword that has been given that has been produced uh, by a search results by recruit in so I also need to add a location now I have a list of locations that I've actually found uh, from the internet uh, these locations are actually the locations that you see uh, on, on on LinkedIn while you make a search okay in case if anyone needs that uh, you can put your email address in the comment box and I will send that to you or you can send me an email directly uh, to a melody at rlysourcing.com you can see that uh, on the left and top corner of your screen okay that's that's my email address and 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 my website okay now what we're going to do and we're going to take we're going to choose people from a specific location okay now what this search has done it has got us the um, the decision makers of recruiting firms and staffing firms across all United States now what we're not trying to do is we will be going ahead and t choosing a specific location so that we can get more people our way right so from the link from the list of locations that I have here uh, let me just choose a random one okay let me go ahead and um, choose um, uh, greater Boston area all right now this is an image so I cannot copy that I have to literally type in right so if you see if you notice in the string uh, these are the first titles okay these are the first uh, title string and then you have the the industry string now in between this we will go ahead and put the area string the location string and the location is greater Boston area and that's how it shows on LinkedIn if you look up any uh, profile of any of any person from Boston you know it'll be it's, it's like not Boston uh, Massachusetts gonna be like greater Boston area and that's what we're gonna type in however before that we're gonna type an operator because we have all the ors between the or the operator between the titles and we need the location and we need staffing and we need recruiting okay so I'm gonna put that greater um, Boston area and okay so now <coughs> instead of making the search across the entire United States it's just gonna make a search uh, in just the Boston area okay so we're gonna copy this link go back to Google 
and copy and paste the link here. We'll just make sure that we have the Greater Atlanta here. We have, sorry, the Greater Boston area. There we have it. Okay, and then let's go ahead and hit search. Wonderful. All right. See, if, if you look, if you just scroll down, if you just look through people, we, we have people who have actually uh, matching the titles and matching the location and matching the industry that we have. Okay. So um, Eric Gorvitz, uh, he's from the Greater Boston area. He's the owner of Monument Staffing. Right. So um, this is how you go about and add. Um, uh, specific locations you can get very specific uh, you can add more you know you can just 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 do owner for example now we have put multiple titles and that the reason is give, giving us a, a large number of results but then if you want less number of results you can just put one title at one time one area maybe owner um, Boston area you know and then make your search and staffing and recruiting and then make the search then you are actually narrowing down and you have you you can pick up the results you know faster rather than because Google gives you only a specific number of results right so if you narrow down your search you now you get more results that way that is you can pick up one area at a time and get the maximum out of it so this is how we do it now whether how, however you uh, generate your leads or generate uh, you know, work on a job description I basically do this for for a lot of companies I've done that in the past and I'm currently doing uh, a lot of companies ask me to you know um, uh, build up list for a specific industry um, you know, of specific titles we do that myself and my team um, we also develop candidates if you would like to know more about my services you can definitely go to my website which is there on the left and top corner of, of the screen uh, it's www.hourlysourcing.com okay and if you have any questions about this video please do uh, put it in the comment box or email me at the at the address email address that is given on the screen okay and in case if you'd like to know if you'd like to learn something about something uh, new all right put in the comment box or email me and I will try my best to get that video done for you okay so so uh, that's it for now so I will uh, I'll see you soon and uh, you guys take care until I, I talk to you or I get my video the next time. Bye bye. Cheers. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get new video notifications.